by profession i am a cyber security and uh, data analytics person I, i work a lot on the policy aspects including global cyber security uh, activities and uh, possible region however i have a lot of interest on history and particularly the history of the indian subcontinent that's the main motivation for me to get also get into filmmaking because i feel that there are many aspects of the history in this subcontinent that needs attention that needs to be told but hasn't been told the way it should have been told so that's why for into filmmaking and all of my efforts till date have been to look at some of these unique aspects from history the last production and directional activity of mine was the documentary netaji at the rate 125 it is a short documentary of remembrance around subhash chandra bose one of the foremost indian patriots who led uh, the fight against the british in the second world war he is popularly known as netaji and that film uh primarily was based on 14 interviews of all unique uh, individuals who had something around his performance and his acts in trying to secure india's independence i faced a lot of challenges uh, when i uh, directed uh, this documentary netaji at the rate 125 firstly there was a lot of lockdowns due to covid-19 uh, i lost my dear wife who actually i did it this documentary i myself was uh, hospitalized for more than a fortnight uh, so mentally physically and the scenario around was quite difficult but i'm glad that i was able to come and do the remaining part of the shooting uh, most of them uh, post uh, June uh, 2021 and then we could also do the editing uh, in a reasonably good period of time so it was challenging but then the purpose and the individual for whom you were doing this uh, documentary he himself took a lot of challenges and so possibly that was also an inspiration to complete the documentary the documentaries that i do our the storytelling there is primarily based around history historical aspects the unique things uh, you know that was part of that uh, historical uh, aspect uh, and uh, i feel that you know there is so much for posterity to know about the times and in which uh, some of the individuals rose above so many things and showed leadership So Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was one such uh, inspirational leader who was not only bold and sacrificed so much, but at the end he was also a very humane individual who practiced secularism, who practiced the gender equality even in those times. So I wanted all these uh, good traits of this patriot to come out to the whole world. Well, my vision is to make uh, documentary films that are covering uh, some unique aspect of uh, history, in particularly in the, the subcontinent. And I approach a subject with a lot of research uh, that picks up all the nuances and some of the uh, anecdotes, you know, that generally would have been missed. So every time I'm doing a documentary, I'm trying to cover some of these anecdotes that. bring out the actual uh, situation in that epoch frankly speaking i don't have uh, any uh, specific uh, filmmaker in mind who actually is a real influence but there are many you know filmmakers whose filmmaking aspects whose uh, capacity and credential to pick up uh, some of the very interesting aspects of individual from biopics that's been something that always fascinated me so i've tried to you know look at everyone's uh, uh, approach and uh, try to work out my own uh, approach 
based on my understanding of uh, the subject that I was touching in a particular film. Well, filmmaking is changing a lot uh, these days, particularly with the advent of uh, technology. Technology has aided a lot of filmmakers and particularly in the COVID age, even I have uh, been able to take a couple of interviews uh, based on the online uh, uh, tools available. Uh, COVID-19 has really impacted uh, filmmaking. Of course, uh, there was a good number of months that uh, people were not able to do a lot of outdoor shootings. Uh, and I think, you know, the way uh, people have now started even looking at films through the uh, OTT platforms, a lot of filmmaking is also changing and gearing towards uh, making far much more optimal peasants through those platforms. You know, apart from the platform-based approach that uh, now consumption of films are happening or becoming more popular, uh, the other aspect that you see is uh, people have, uh, you know, shorter attention span. They want to see a lot of more things in a far much more compact fashion. So for artists, particularly, it is becoming challenging, but what they need to do, and they are adapting it also very well, is they cover more aspects in the time that they have, you know, they, their expressions, their activities that are definitely seeing changes where they are far much more engaging uh, than the you know typical approach in a classical uh, film or a documentary yes of course uh, films can really make a change in the world they impact the society and there are so many films right through the ages who have actually brought out the issues which you know it didn't come out through any other media so films have a big impact on the society and today with you know shorter duration films coming in a precise encapsulation of a particular aspect is so good that it is seeing uh, you know impact and changes and uh, application in the shortest span of time well, people nowadays like to see more biopics, more real life incident films and more that have an impact uh, directly on their, you know, day to day livelihood, living, society, all of these aspects. And the pandemic has uh, put across a scenario where people now, of course, consume more through the OTT platform, but also in a behavioral fashion try to look at films that are much more closely that they can relate with. Well, I've already started working on a film on the partition of India and uh, Pakistan that happened in 1947. And just before the partition, on the eastern side, uh, there was a referendum in a place called Silet, which now is in uh, Bangladesh. So that aspect I'm uh, trying to cover, the displacements of people that have happened, how after so many years the people interact. I'm also working on a documentary on uh, Justice Radha Vinod Pal, who has really made an impact with his uh, dissenting judgment in the Tokyo trials post the World War II. And uh, something very close to my heart, a documentary on the wet wetlands, which is in a place in southern Assam called Sonbil, the second largest wetland in Asia. So hopefully in the next uh, couple of years, all three of them will see the light of the day.